Greetings everyone, Zorain here with Autosys. Today I'll be demoing our new feature, the Fuel Tracker. So you want to go ahead and first click into your vehicle and you'll notice right away that you'll see a new icon called Fuel. Uh, we've, just FYI, we've moved the glove box and notes uh, icons under the More section. So you want to just click More to access those, but you'll see here when you click on Fuel, you have a dedicated area now to track uh, all your fill-ups. So you'll notice at the top uh, there is the average MPG as well as total spent. So this was going to track uh, what you're averaging in terms of miles per gallon and then the total spent will track the total dollars you've spent on all your fill-ups. So let's go ahead and get started and add our first fill-up. So let's say you went to the gas station today. You want to go ahead and hit the plus icon and it'll have today's date by default. You want to click uh, under odometer and type in the odometer. So for testing purposes, we're just going to keep it simple for math. We'll say that we're at 1,000 uh, miles on our odometer. And then let's say you filled up 10 gallons at the pump. And then you want to say that you paid, let's say, 450 for gas. And you'll see the total automatically calculates. And then you want to add any notes if you'd like, uh, whatever you prefer. And then you'll notice right away where it says link this to past Phillips. This is really important because everything is linked by default. You see the check box here. You can unclick and unclick. So if you unclick it, it asks you, are you sure you want to unlink this Phillips? If yes, we will not count this entry in your MPG. So this is really important because if you do happen to miss a Phillips uh, and you don't want it to calculate your MPG because the mileage gets thrown off or, or whatever for whatever reason, um, you want to go ahead and uncheck this box here so that that, that fill up doesn't count against your overall MPG. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit more later. Then you have the option to of course add receipts. So you can click the add receipts button and then you can either take a photo of a receipt um, or upload from your library. So once you uh, finish that, there was also one more icon here called the trip icon. Now the trip icon is useful uh, if you're using past Phillips, for example, if you want to, uh, if you have another app you're using or you keep logs elsewhere, you can actually put the start and end mileage here and it'll calculate and you can uh, go ahead and, and uh, use this for old Phillips. Um, so once you're done with uh, adding all your data, you want to go ahead and click done. And then it'll say fill up added successfully. You hit go back and then you'll see your first entry. Uh, right away. Now you'll notice that on the first, very first entry, your MPG will not be calculating because it has nothing to base it off of. So you'll need more than one entry in order to start calculating your MPG. So if you click check MPG, it'll clearly say this MPG, uh, the MPG for this fill up is currently calculating. It'll show up on your next fill up. So now let's go ahead and add another fill up so you can actually see the MPG calculate. So you want to click the plus icon and let's say you are uh, filling up and you drove uh, uh, some more miles. So we had a thousand miles for, at first. So let's say you drove about 1500 miles. So let's say your odometer now is, uh, I'm sorry, 500 miles. And let's say your odometer now is 1500. So you want to go ahead and uh, put in the odometer. And again, same routine. Let's say you filled up 15 gallons this time and your price per gallon was uh, a little bit cheaper, 425. Okay. Um, then let's say we want to add a receipt here. So let's take a photo of a receipt. And then you can crop it if you'd like. And then hit done and finish. And then you'll see the receipt added there. And then let's go ahead and hit done. So now you can see the receipt is there. You can always refer to it if you need to. Uh, but if you go back now, now you'll start seeing your MPG uh, calculating because now it has more than one entry uh, to calculate off of. So you can see here that from 1,000 miles to 1,500 miles, uh, we had 10 gallons filled and uh, averaging about 50 miles per gallon. And you can see in the top right there that uh, it's tallying the total amount that you've spent on um, gas and fuel. And then you'll see in the top left corner there, uh, your average MPG for all your Phillips thus far is 50. Now let's go ahead and add one more entry here. 
And this time we uh, now will say that we went to uh, fill up the pump and let's say your odometer now is 2,000 miles. Um, and now uh, let's say you filled uh, 13 gallons and your price per gallon was 458. Now this time let's go ahead and uncheck this box so that it does not link. Let's say you missed a fill up in between your last one and you just completely forgot or for whatever reason you click unlink it says are you sure you want to unlink this go ahead and click yes and then when you click done you'll immediately notice when you go back to the home page that the MPG is missing for that last fill up so uh, you can see here you have one at 50 but then the latest one here is blank because you've unlinked it and you can see that the average MPG in the top left has not changed so again, really important if you miss uh, entries and you don't want it to uh, kind of mess up your MPG, your average MPG, to so make sure that you uncheck it. We also have protocols in place that if it does look funny and you drove uh, a ton of miles, it, the app will automatically alert you saying that something looks off, do you want to unlink the fill up? Um, and that way you can ensure that your MPG stays uh, ac as accurate as possible. And that's it everyone. Hope uh, you find this feature useful. Again, if you have any feedback, uh, please go ahead and email us at info, I-N-F-O, at autosys.com. Uh, we always appreciate your feedback and your reviews on the app and Play Store. Uh, thanks for using Autosyst.